probability of successive events. A die and two coins are tossed. Find the probability of getting a three and two tails. Now, in case of a die, there are six possible outcomes which are equally likely. And to get a number three is one out of six, right? So probability of getting three is one out of six. Now, when two coins are tossed, then probability of getting two tails, that is probability of getting tails and then tails, is one out of four. How do we get this? Tails and tails means first when you toss it, you may get tail or head, right? Then again, if you toss it, you may get tail or head or tail or head, right? So the combinations are tails, 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 head, head, tails, or head, head, right? So out of these four combinations, only one of them is both tails, which is this one, correct? One out of four. So that is one way of thinking about it. The other way is when you toss a coin, the possibility of getting first tail is what? Half, right? What is the possibility of getting tail again? Again, half. For successive events, you can multiply them and you get one out of four. So that is how we get, right? Now we'll use all these concepts to answer the question. Now let's get back to the question. A die and two coins are tossed. Find the probability of getting a three and two tails. So you get three from the die, right? So the probability of getting three is one out of six and then getting two tails is one out of four. It is a successive event, one event done after the other. So the probability of getting three and two tails is equals to product of these, which is one out of six times one out of four. And that gives us one out of 24. So that is the answer and that is how we need to answer it. I hope you understand and appreciate it, right? Thank you.